I, look, all I can do, my responsibility is to make the truth clear. God's responsibility is to change hearts. I stop at the point of clarity. The Word convicts, the Spirit convicts. The Word clarifies, the Spirit clarifies and illuminates. Uh, people have said to me, um, you know, you don't make a lot of application. No, that's right, I don't make a lot of application. But I do make a whole lot of implication. Help us understand the difference there and what, what do you mean by application? Well, a application? application is some specific. Um, some specific situation in which this truth could be applied. Give your wife a teddy bear. Yeah, give your wife a teddy bear. Um, <laughs> Valentine's uh, Day try tomorrow. this tomorrow. Uh, next time you run into somebody and they ask you this, try this. Look, that's the Holy Spirit's work. My, my job is to, make, is to bring the Word of God to bear on your heart so powerfully, so clearly, so convictingly that you feel the weight of that Scripture. You feel the burden of that Scripture. And you walk out feeling the burden of that Scripture, the Spirit of God will then direct its application. Too much application misses the point for most of the people. I can't find universal application unless I say universally pray, universally, you know, give, uh, give out the gospel, but we all know that. So uh, I think it's far more important that people understand a passage, and that passage has its own weight. It brings a huge weight on the heart when the passage is made clear, and that's the divine weight. Uh, I, I, that's the weight of glory, in a sense, uh, if I can borrow that expression. That's all I'm after. And then it's up to the Spirit of God to take that where it's going to go. Um, I, I stop short of manipulating people because it, I could do that. Um, I mean, I could try to do that and I could manipulate them externally, but then I'm sending confusing signals because they may not be able to tell the difference between what they did because I told them to do it. and and what God is doing in their hearts. So um, the idea of getting people to come forward and come forward and, and do all of that. You know, people, people have come to Christ in those kind of settings, and they do sure. come to Christ. But a lot of people have the false con conviction and the false assurance that they came to Christ when they didn't. Uh, so I, I think application is the work of the Holy Spirit. I just, there's the message, if you don't know Christ, you need to cry out to Him to save you. We're here to serve you. Yeah. That, that, that would be what I think is a biblical approach. The imperatives and commands that come from this pulpit are biblical ones. You're not telling us what to do. The Word is telling Look, us what to do. Yes, again, you're back to the same thing in preaching. The, the weight of Scripture on the heart, mm -hmm. the, the truth in the hands of the Spirit is what moves people to action. I can't follow you around and make you do little things. I can't, I can't chase you through all those little applications, but I can bring the weight of Scripture to bear. It's really helpful. Our church